a doctor's tools. Doctors have one of the most important careers in a community. They help people who are hurt and sick. Doctors also see people for yearly checkups to make sure they are staying healthy. To be a good doctor, you need to go through many years of school. A good doctor also needs many tools to keep people healthy. Read on to learn about these life-saving tools. Everyone should go for a checkup once a year. Doctors use different tools to check body parts to make sure their patients are healthy. Doctors use blood pressure cuffs or monitors to measure blood pressure or the force of pump blood pumping through the body. First, a doctor wraps a cuff around a patient's arm. Then the doctor squeezes a bulb to inflate the cuff, which cuts off blood flow. When the doctor releases the pump, a gauge measures the force of the pumping blood. Blood pressure depends on the force of blood pumping away from the heart. A stethoscope is another tool that's used to check the heart. Stethoscopes have three main parts, chest piece, tube, and headset. The chest piece is the flat metal disc the doctor presses on the patient's chest. The sound of the heartbeat goes through the tube. The sound then travels to the headset, which goes to the doctor's ears. Doctors also use stethoscopes to listen to other organs inside a patient's body, including the lungs and gut. Doctors use some tools to get a close look at different body parts. An otoscope helps doctors look inside a patient's nose and ears. The doctor puts the tip of the otoscope inside the patient's ear. Then a lens magnifies the image of the inner ear. This helps the doctor tell if a patient has too much earwax or an infection. Doctors have many small tools from cotton swabs to cotton balls. They have flat wooden sticks called tongue depressors. Doctors use a tongue depressor to press a patient's tongue down to see the back of their throat. They check for too much mucus or infections. Doctors use reflex hammers to test movement in the patient's tendons. A doctor taps under one knee with the hammer. If the knee moves without the patient trying to move it, that's a reflex. Have you ever gotten a shot? It might have been a vaccination. A vaccination is a shot that contains a weakened form of an illness. Uh, the vaccination helps a patient's body get ready to fight that illness. For a shot, doctors use a syringe with a needle attached. A syringe holds a liquid vaccine. The doctor sticks a needle into the patient's arm and injects the vaccine. It only takes a few seconds. Do you have a bad cold? Do you have a stomach bug? The doctor can help. The doctor will ask you about your symptoms or signs of sickness. Then they take your temperature. If your temperature is too high, you might have a fever. Doctors use thermometers to measure temperature. Older kinds of thermometers are glass rods filled with a liquid that rises as your temperature rises. New thermometers are digital and they use electronic heat sensors to measure body temperature. Everyone gets scrapes, scratches, and bruises. However, some wounds require a doctor's attention, especially if there's a lot of bleeding, a bad burn, or a broken bone. Doctors have special tools to cover a deep cut or scrape. They might apply a bandage or a thin cloth called gauze. If the wound is very bad, they might have to give a patient stitches. To give stitches, a doctor uses a special thread to sew the two sides of a cut together. These are some of a doctor's tools a cotton swab, cotton balls, a digital thermometer, an infrared thermometer, a tongue depressor, a reflex hammer, a syringe, a butterfly needle, a blood pressure cuff, an otoscope, a sling, a bandage, a scalpel, a stethoscope, an ophthalmoscope, a cast, a gauze, and scissors. Surgeons are doctors who go inside the human body to fix things.
they might fix a bone if it's badly broken. Patients are asleep for most surgeries. Surgeons are very careful and make small exact movements. Surgeons use many little tools to make incisions or cuts. A scalpel is a cutting tool with a thin, sharp blade. It's used to make incisions. Surgical scissors are also used for cutting during surgery. Some scissors are straight and some are curved. Saving lives. As new tools are invented, doctors are able to give even better care to their patients. Today, many doctors' tools are digital or computer-based. Digital thermometers and blood pressure monitors give, can give more exact measurements than ever before. Surgery tools using computers and robots can help surgeons save more lives. Doctors need to be masters of their tools. With the help of these tools, doctors can do anything from checking blood pressure to stitching a wound. Do you think you'd like to be a doctor someday?